here at the Boca Raton Resort and Club in South Florida at the new Clinical Drug Evaluation Unit meeting, or the NCDEU meeting. A phase two study was presented showing some improvements with an investigational agent for treating kids with autism spectrum disorder. Can you tell me what degree of clinical improvement you saw in the study? Sure. Um, so as we expect in an autism spectrum disorder population, some people showed really dramatic improvement. Um, the improvements that were surprising to me actually as a clinician. I see a lot of kids with autism. Um, and usually when you start a medicine you see small improvements. Um, and we saw that in some of the folks in this study. Uh, but in other folks we saw fairly dramatic changes. Kids who started talking more than previously, um, kids who seemed more socially engaged with our staff than previously. Uh, I think it's important to be a little hesitant in interpreting such a study until we have a randomized placebo-controlled study. Can you tell me what's next in your research with this particular agent? Along with other sites across the country, uh, we're beginning a, a larger um, phase two study uh, to actually use a randomized placebo-controlled design to evaluate what the specific effects of the medicine are. Uh, this study is specifically targeting social withdrawal, uh, which makes sense because if you think about um, the results of the study in Fragile X Syndrome as well as encouraging results we saw in this pilot study, social withdrawal or social avoidance would really be an incredible thing to actually be able to do something about in autism spectrum disorders. So the hope is that we see something there, but this study of 150 patients across the country will allow us to actually evaluate specific effects. This has been Damian McNamara reporting for Boca Raton, Florida.